All right, this is a fun game, and I'm doing this video because I like this game, and I want to do it. Uh, this game is called Talk Talk Woodman. Now, uh, this is by Just Know, and this comes from Korea, the, the original designers. And uh, there is a different version out now. It's not called Talk Talk Woodman anymore. It's called Click Clack Lumberjack, but you can still get it. It's the same exact game, same exact components, uh, same everything. It's a dexterity game, and it's a lot of fun because, as always, you can pervert the crud out of this game with a plethora of wood jokes, and it just it just does not get old. I've, I've done every possible wood joke that there could be, and I still find more of them every time I play this game. So, I'm going to open this sucker up. Don't worry about keeping the box in pristine shape because it's going to get destroyed. Uh, la, 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 la. Plastic axe. This is... This is this is essentially a reverse Jenga game. You have a tree trunk here. You're going to put these core tree pieces on here with four little bark pieces clicked in around it. As you can see, they kind of slide in like that so that you can't pull them straight off. You've got to slide them like up or down. This forces you to have to manipulate this thing as it goes. So I'm going to speed up this real quick, but essentially you're putting together that and you're putting them on there. And the next one you put on there, you want to do it to where the, uh, well, I'll just show you real quick. You want to get it to where they're off center by a bit. You know, don't leave a pattern to it to where every one is off by 90 degrees or, uh, or 45 degrees in this case. You don't want to have it to where it's like, oh, oh, it's, it's exactly in the middle. It's here, and then there, and then there, and then there, and then there. No, 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 mix it up a little bit. Make, make a couple of them kind of close and kind of far apart. Just put them out there at random. Don't, don't put any effort into it. And you'll make it fun and, and non-repetitive. So uh, I'm going to put this whole thing together real quick. Here we go. Normally I wouldn't brag about being that quick with my wood, but <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two hands on the entire thing here real quick just to make sure it's nice and straight. See, it just it just doesn't get old until it does, and then it's yeah. All right, so whoever feels like uh, playing with wood the most can go first, I suppose. And uh, you're just going to go around in clockwise fashion. Everybody's going to take this plastic axe, and you get to hit this thing twice. You can hit it, you can slap it, you can bonk it, you can prod it, you can hit it with the back end of it. You just can't push it. So if somebody goes up there and tries to do the, uh, no, no, throw them out of the game. They don't deserve to be playing board games anyway. You get two hits, no matter how soft. If you do that axe, no, no, I didn't mean to hit it. You, you still tapped it, you still tapped it. When it starts getting crazy, you might just want to pass. You can't pass, you have to hit it, so you can just tap the base if you really want to just be a coward. But uh, who wants to do that? I'm gonna show you how this game is played and I'm gonna see how many hits I can do to get this thing down. Because every piece of bark that you get off is a point. And now you can hit in any way you want. So I'm actually going to use an upward flip technique and try to flip this piece off. So I can't go down with it, but I can go up with it. Let's see if it worked. Yes, it worked. You get two hits. Any bark that comes off is worth one point. But if you hit one of the core pieces off, you're getting minus five. And by off, it means actually on the table. If you hit something off and it actually happens to land like right here and not slide all the way off, you don't get it yet. The next person gets to do it ding, and just get a really, really easy point if they want to. So as with anything Django oriented, you don't want to bump the table. I just screwed myself right there. So yeah, I picked up uh, three points for the bark and minus five for that. So right now I have a total of negative one. Let's see if I can actually get a positive by the time this game is over here. Yep. Maybe I can get two. Maybe I can get two on an up flip. Ooh, look at that. There's some wood technique right there. Let's go a little further down. Let's go over here. Go that way. Uh, Fuck. Mm -mm. Two at once. Let's swing it back this way. Let's swing it back again. Do a little... Nope, here's seven. <laughs> I didn't actually make contact. That was a whiff. Let's go a little further down. It's a little... 
little more forgiving. Another turn to do that. Okay, get myself back up to a whopping zero. All right, let me, and kind of need yeah, back-ended base. Put that back. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do solo player. So, in conclusion, so that's Talk Talk Woodman and, uh, I still like playing this game, just uh, like real life. It's not as much fun when you play with yourself.